Do you recognize any of this? What if it was all gone? Poof, just like that. Our beloved YouTube, banned by every country and government on earth. With all the talk of TikTok being banned, it got us thinking, what if the same thing happened to YouTube? How would it change everyone's daily life? First, let's put the size of YouTube into perspective. Despite being the world's number two search engine and the world's second largest social platform and hosting 14 billion videos and counting, YouTube's HQ is small, like super small. YouTube only has around 6,000 employees and if it were banned, they would be the first to lose their jobs. But YouTube's workforce isn't just their employees. If you include all of the new creators and top creators, like Mr. Beast, Marquez Brownlee, Emma Chamberlain, and their creative teams, plus all of the other creators in between, YouTube is responsible for the equivalent livelihood of nearly 400,000 full-time employees who rely on YouTube for career and money and not just a hobby. So if all of these people lost their jobs, that would be like Apple, Microsoft, and Facebook firing everyone at once. And to my dismay, the job casualties would include the team at Group Hugs, my YouTube marketing agency, including our script writers, producers, editors, and uploaders, and myself. But it's not like everyone could just all of a sudden jump ship to another platform and make anywhere close to what they were making from YouTube. Remember, YouTube started the creator economy by paying creators a fair cut, 55 cents per every dollar of ad revenue that YouTube makes from a video. In the last three years alone, YouTube's paid out over $70 billion, with a B. <laughs> That's more than Hollywood movies made globally at the box office in those three years, and more than the GDP of most countries. YouTube is the only platform that actually pays well. Instagram, TikTok, and X don't really pay their creators that much. So where am I gonna take all these skills, mom? Go back to medical school? That ship has sailed. <laughs> Great job. So where do all of these creators go next? Whether you're Mr. Beast or Taylor Swift, everyone will be searching for a replacement platform. And if YouTube got banned, what happens to you, the viewers, all 2.7 billion of us? And it's not like those 2.7 billion people were just watching videos of cats falling asleep. Okay, well maybe a little bit of that, but in a study done by Pew Research in 2024, they found that in the US, YouTube is the most used social media platform across all demographics, from seniors all the way to teens. And Business Insider actually found that Gen Z trusts YouTube more than any other platform, and YouTube is even more popular all around the world. I dare you to take a shot for every single time I say YouTube. Not to mention, it's the number one music streaming platform among many other things. Imagine going back to iTunes. Remember 99 cents per song? <laughs> no way. From how-tos to movies to music to news, what aren't we watching on YouTube? I mean, where else can you watch someone eat 11 Chipotle burritos in 10 minutes and then get help with your calculus homework? And did you know that YouTuber is one of the most desirable jobs on the planet? Twice as many kids want to be YouTubers than astronauts. Whether it's figuring out how to use your new dishwasher or advanced calculus, so much of how we interface with the world is wrapped up in YouTube, whether you recognize it or not. And it's not all learning and procrastinating or even how-tos. So many of our communities and hobbies are wrapped up in YouTube as well. And that's why the prospect of YouTube being banned is getting me a little bit emo, honestly. Let me explain. A 2020 study done by UC Berkeley found that watching positive videos can actually reduce anxiety and loneliness. And in my experience, something really special about YouTube is that the videos are long enough to really feel like you know your creators and to truly feel less alone. Because like it or not, the majority of humans are lonelier than ever before. How are you gonna feel without all those people who made you feel seen while staring at a screen? And how are people gonna learn how to do things? True story, I had a flat tire 10 minutes outside of Seattle. The guy who was sent to fix our flat tire had to look up on YouTube how to fix a flat tire for a forerunner. I'm gonna show you how to fix a flat tire. And even if you don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, not being able to watch your favorite Mr. Beast videos or your recipes or YouTube shorts would be a big change. And what would happen to our precious internet culture? More than ever, we are a world divided. And as silly as it sounds, YouTube keeps us connected and prevents us from splitting up another 2.7 billion people on this beautiful yet strange place that we call the internet.
The beauty of YouTube is that you're constantly exposed to a wide range of different voices and opinions and thought-provoking hypotheticals like this one. Remember Charlie bit my finger or the very first YouTube video that you watched? I remember shoes, remember shoes? Shoes. Like it is burned in my brain. And also how many times does Michael Scott mention YouTube in the office? YouTube. 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 If YouTube were banned, how would we ever decide if the new iPhone is worth the upgrade? Or how to properly do a smoky eye or change a toilet seat? And more broadly, if YouTube were banned, what would happen to the small and big businesses that rely on YouTube to reach customers? No, God, please, no, no! 93% of consumers use online videos to learn about products while they're considering a purchase. And on average, YouTube viewers are more educated and earn a higher income in comparison to other social platforms. This means that it's incredibly important for the health of the economy. These potential consumers are connected with products they want to buy in a way that is organic and driven by their own interests. And this is why my YouTube agency exists. This is what we do for our clients. We help them meet their customers who are already searching for them. YouTube being banned means that small and large businesses would have to spend far more on advertising on other platforms with a smaller selection of people. And video is one of the best ways to connect with people. Luckily, if you're watching this video, chances are that the shadow government hasn't shut down YouTube. And it's worth me covering why YouTube is not going anywhere and why it will never disappear, at least in my lifetime. First of all, if we were to bump into an alien, it would make so much more sense just to plug them into YouTube, for better or for worse. It's a platform that continues to evolve innovate and defy expectations. And here's the kicker, there are still fewer brands and creators on YouTube and this presents a golden opportunity for businesses and new creators to stand out in a crowded digital landscape. YouTube stands as a monolith for the human experience as a whole. It's like the video form of the Library of Alexandria. It's a time capsule for humanity. And the time is now and your YouTube opportunity is waiting. So send me an email or book a discovery call with me if you wanna grow your YouTube channel with group hugs. All links are in the description below. And if you love YouTube as much as us, subscribe and watch this next video.